say that a person is merely a genes way of making more genes. Now humans are to be considered as vehicles for the propagation of memes too. No one likes to be called a puppet. Dennett summed up the problem this way: I don't know about you, but I am not initially attracted by the idea of my brain as a sort of dung heap, in which the larvae of other people's ideas renew themselves before sending out copies of themselves in an informational diaspora. Who's in charge, according to this vision? We or our memes? He answered his own question by reminding us that, like it or not, we are seldom in charge of our own minds. He might have quoted Freud. Instead, he quoted Mozart, or so he thought. In the night when I cannot sleep, thoughts crowd into my mind. Whence and how do they come? I do not know, and I have nothing to do with it. Those which please me, I keep in my head and hum them. Later, Dennett was informed that this well-known quotation was not Mozart's after all; it had taken on a life of its own. It was a fairly successful meme. For anyone taken with the idea of memes, the landscape was changing faster than Dawkins had imagined possible in 1976 when he wrote, "The computers in which memes live are human brains."、Mm-hmm.